Hi everyone, thanks for coming back to Kendra Plays The Sims and for today's video I'm just going to be playing through the stuck in their shadow scenario. So if you don't know what that is, it's essentially about the sim named Nova who's this amazing programmer in college and basically she has this guy that wants to compete with her so bad so she is trying to prove herself to him essentially to show him that she's the best programmer. So if you're interested in this scenario just go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, and we'll go ahead and get started. And as you can see, in order to open the scenarios, you just click on play scenario and it's gonna pull up all the different scenarios we have. So I would also say if you're ever just bored of playing The Sims and just having the same gameplay, or you can't think of anything new to do, to go and play those scenarios because they're actually kind of hard, really. You have like seven days to complete them and some of them are really difficult. So I'm just going to play Stuck in Their Shadow. So that's that first one. So we start with Nova Curious, a career driven young adult, and we have several story endings. So quitting the rat race, keeping your enemies closer, the underdog wins, enemies to lovers, which ain't gonna happen, and Dream Chaser. So we're just gonna click on play now. They had me messed up talking about lovers. I think not. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're just gonna do a one bedroom, one bath. And we can leave it furnished. Okay, so now we have Nova's story. So stuck in their shadow, join the tech guru career and place your laptop. And it's actually in her inventory, so it's nice that we don't have to buy one. So, um, Lewis is his name. That's the guy that's obsessed with us. He overshadowed her during her uni years, and now that she wants to start her professional life, she might bump into him again. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first, we're just gonna get into the tech career. So we're going to start in business, and we're going to find a job. And while she's doing that, we can go ahead and place her laptop. Okay, so we're going to scroll down until we find Tech Guru. Okay, so now hiring an ace engineer and it starts off at $63 an hour. So we're doing this from nine to five and we have two off days. So let's go ahead and join. So uh, we have work in three days. So we work Tuesday through Saturday and we're off Sunday and Monday. Okay, so she's a geek. Let's see. Let's see her skills. So she's already got a three in programming, but we should probably work on that. And what other skills does she have? Fitness, charisma, programming, cooking, logic, mischief. So maybe we can mess with the other sin. Okay. So she's gonna watch some streams. So we can really do whatever as we are working through this tech career. So we don't have any relationships right now, so we can actually go out and build them. So we're just gonna spend some time programming because we want to, um, let's see, where's programming? Okay, program, we're going huh. to hack. Ooh, we're gonna hack a trust fund. We're gonna see what happens when we do that. I'm interested to see. Okay, so we're gonna fast forward as she is programming and Lewis is calling, what's he gonna say? Let me move my head down some so we can see. What up, Tuna Head? <laughs> I heard you got a job at Rainy Days Entertainment, the same startup where I work. So we work at the same place. Ready to be overshadowed by me again? So he's already throwing it in your face that you're not as good as me. It'll be just like in college. Don't worry, when they fire you, I'll write your recommendation letter for a senior loser position. And then, uh, not this again. Or if you wanna hug Lewis, just ask. And that's what we're gonna say. 
Okay, so a bit too much. Nova has not been getting along with particular um, spirited sims, so she doesn't get along with spirited sims. Sure, why not? Don't worry, we'll get to hang out all day at the office. See you there, Tuna Head. It sounds like he's interested. We're gonna send him an angry text. We need to release this anger. Uh, so I wonder what happens when she sends that angry text. Okay, she's still programming. So we'll fast forward, let her work on that skill. Uh oh, she's got neighbors, but I'm not sure how she will feel about this. So we're gonna let up off of the programming for a hot second. I'm kind of nervous because I feel like she's gonna take her anger out on other sims. What? Nip and growl me. Okay. At least she she. Ah, uh, me. At least she was kind. Okay. And while they're in there, we're just going to finish programming or we'll practice programming until we get to the next level. And we're just gonna talk with some of these sims. We're gonna enthuse about new show. She's still kind of angry. We might have her work out or something. She's gonna have a horrible interaction with everybody. And they're taunting her. Maybe if we have her talk about something like... And now she feels embarrassed. Why? Because you're rude? Okay. I'm surprised they haven't went home yet. Uh, and let's see what we're doing with that skill. Kinaku Swarspa. 62% complete. Okay, I think they're all. Okay. So we're gonna let her do that programming. So she wants to program for five hours, anyways, and play games for a total of five hours. Okay. Welcome Wagon is over. Okay, and we're gonna lock our laptop. So let's see. Cause we don't need anybody getting to, into it while we're at work. Lock for specific sim. Let's see. Everyone but the household. Okay. Ah. Get promoted and go outside. So we can really do whatever we want with this sim. So we're just gonna have her program for the time being and let her work up that skill. And we're gonna have her cook. Um, and let's see what she can do. Mm, we're just gonna do something like Franks and Beans. Something basic. And we're gonna grab a serving after she gets done washing her hands. So let's have her go out. We're gonna travel. I'm like kinda wanting to invite him out. We're gonna see, cause I wanna see what happens when we go out together. I don't know if he even showed up. Let's see. Invite to hang out. Maybe we can win Lewis over. Maybe. Watch him be like, Stop texting me. He said he would rather not come. <laughs> we tried. Okay. We're just gonna dance around. We're gonna dance battle with Candy because we know she likes to dance. Okay. Makes me wanna dance. So we could just have her make some friends since Lewis. I wonder where our compatibility is too. Uh -huh. yes. Open profile. This relationship is tense. Things are likely to go awry. Bad compatibility. Okay. And we'll just let our sim kind of dance around and whatnot and enjoy the night. I don't know who decided that these, this dancing would be good. 
let's go. Okay, so our sim is out just partying and enjoying the night, which I don't blame her. So we're gonna let her just kind of hang out with Candy and just kind of build some relationships. Oh, they get down. <laughs> so we are back home and our sim is actually really tired. So we're just gonna have her sleep. Um, but for now she's happy, which is good. And we're just gonna fast forward through the night. Okay, so I decided to bring the sim to the library so we could actually work on some of those programming skills here, but also meet other people. So I'm just gonna have her go to this computer program and we're going to make a virus. <laughs> now, I wonder if we can give that virus, if we can do anything with it once we make it. Yes. Okay, so we're just gonna work on... And the person I'm talking to is angry. So, cheerful, cheerful introduction. She's feeling pretty inspired and she can perform side jobs. So that's good. We're doing a side job for now, which is allowing us to be able to... Oh, we're gonna talk about warm temperature. He's feeling flirty, so we're gonna flirt back. Impressed with video game prowess. That's hilarious. A ween day. that mean? Yeah. Okay, we're finding a little love interest, so we're out here too. I'm gonna joke about politicians. Okay, we're gonna see what happens. Oh, they all went away. We're gonna give them a compliment. She pointed. She was like. <laughs> And we're gonna brighten his day. Um, and do they have any food available here? No, I think that's only at the college places. Like, maybe I should order some pizza. I don't know if we can get stuff delivered to any places outside of here. And he's feeling sad. I don't know this guy. Fire. Okay. Uh huh. And we're just gonna fast forward through her side job and then we're gonna send her home. Well, she decided to go home anyway. So, that's fine. We can have her cook when she gets home and then we'll buy some programming books too. Uh, so, let's go here and we're gonna cook some food. Um, and we're gonna cook. I should've just did a quick meal. I'm just gonna do garden salad, something fast and easy. And then we're going to send her to bed. So when does she go back to work? She works in 12 hours. So we've actually done a lot in terms of programming. So let's hope that she actually gets a promotion. Okay, and because she was feeling bored, I just decided to give her a streaming table where she can actually stream games. So maybe this will help her to, to not be as bored when she's at home. So she's doing this little workout video for now until she goes to work, which starts in two hours. So that should give us some time to work out, um, take a shower, brush our teeth, and get ready for the day. All right, so. She's off to work. Okay, it says word of, and I've never had this happen before, so this is new. It says word of Nova's programming prowess has started to spread on the dark web. She thought she was covering her tracks, but a group of angel investors from Silly Sim Valley are knocking on her office door with a compelling offer. They caution that while Nova's business ideas are technically pre-funding, they like to offer financial backing with the expectation that they have first right of refusal on investing in any of her future projects. Will Nova take the simoleons or would she rather stay independent? So we can accept the investment and gain fame and money or remain independent. You already know I'm gonna accept the investment. Okay, so we're a one-star celebrity and we just got $1,000.
We better get a raise at work. Okay, so now we're on a path to stardom. Um, and no sooner had the Simoleons hit, uh, hit Nova's bank account other than on my blog, Tech Munch posted an article proclaiming Nova as the hot new guru that's making waves in Silly Stem Valley. So this guy better watch out. Okay, so we're gonna eat our CBJ. Um, so obviously the hacking is working. And I was promoted to project manager. Okay, Lewis. <laughs> You see what time it is. I'm like way better than him already and he doesn't even realize it. So now I can make an additional $10 per hour uh, for a grand total of $73 per hour. And I've also received a bonus. Oh, yeah. How much better can this get? I'm already better than Lewis. What? I should have sent him a text message and be like, send happy text since he likes to taunt people. Okay, so now we need to do some programming and we're gonna lay out, we're gonna move this book a little bit. Oh, well, she's gonna move it for us. So now we're gonna do some programming. We're gonna program and we're gonna continue to make our virus. I'm really gonna be like an evil villain. Okay, it says, hi, hi Nova, well, hello, Nova. I just wanted to let you know we're very impressed with your job performance. You're doing a great job. Remember, if you don't miss work, go to office on time and keep your good mood. You'll gain all the required skills. You'll be set for your next promotion. Sorry, somebody was outside talking and just threw me off. Okay, so, okay. So, I think Lewis was calling us too, but I didn't answer. Okay. We're gonna send him another text. I wanna see what happens if we just keep send happy text. I think this is, might be my boss. Dirt Dreamer. Oh, he's a tech guru. Okay, so. She has to use the bathroom. So we're gonna take a break for just a second. Oh, he wants to go out and enjoy the day. Uh-oh. Okay. We're gonna get coffee with another tech guru. Okay, we're gonna have them order a drink for here. And we're just going to get a coffee latte. I know he's not too much, he talks too much. You invited me out. How do I talk too much? Okay. So we're gonna have her get some coffee and just enjoy her time. I guess, I don't know if this is a date or what. We're gonna discuss work. And she's still stuck. We're gonna change her clothes. And we're just waiting for our barista. She's still soaking wet. And we're just having them talk. Okay. And it is 8.42 p.m. And we are going to... I want to finish this hacking with this virus. Okay, so we're just gonna fast forward through that. It must take a long time to do that. Dang, she has all kinds of friends. They wanted to hang out with some aliens tonight. I've got a job, people. Huh. Working 12 hours. And we're only 25% done with our programming. And we need to be able to get our promotion ASAP. So we're just gonna let her tire herself out with this programming and we're going to send her to bed. And before we do that, I'm gonna post on Social Bunny because I want to be able to make more friends. So we're gonna add people. When did they become lovers? Okay. Um, we're gonna do a new post. Uh, post about being from work. 
being confident. Okay, and let's see what's up with her programming. That's complete, so we can actually send her to sleep. And our Sim is back awake, but she's tense because of that offer that that she took. Okay, so I don't know if we should have took the offer or not, but too late now. We just got to perform now. And we just have to program, which we already did. So we might spend some time streaming. Okay, she just had a Eureka moment. Um, we're going to hack. We're gonna use our, our um, talent for good. We're gonna hack. Okay, that might take a minute. We might need to have her eat first. And she's never able to eat before she goes to work. Oops. Sorry, girl. Okay, so we're going to socialize with co-workers. Oh, she must have ate at work. Work hard. They always ask me questions like that. I don't know who you. I don't know. So we're gonna get her home from work. And we're just gonna have her eat those garlic noodles that she cooked before. And we're going to have her, instead of sit on the computer, we're gonna have her read. Um, I don't know if we finished that programming one or not. And we're just gonna have her read this book while she's confident. And she's reading on the toilet too. Okay, and we're just gonna let her program on her computer too. We want to continue this side job too. And well, let's see where we're at with our programming. So we're 25% done. So that's good. Oh, we're at six. We can now hack work performance. I'm gonna be, once this hacking stuff is over with, we're going to hack work performance. Okay, so we actually had our sim hack the work system and hack her work performance. So now we're good. <laughs> we just got a promotion. So I literally hacked the system and got me a better work performance so we can outdo Lewis. And socialize with coworkers and we're going to shift paradigms. So she met Sergio and Celeste. And she brought home $584. So we're just gonna have her take a shower and we're just gonna have a quick meal. And we're just gonna live off like pepperoni pizza roll-ups. Okay, so we're gonna have her use the bathroom. And I wonder if Lewis is gonna call us again. And we're going to have her start programming. And I'm really gonna focus on just hacking stuff. I wanna see what happens, we hack. Hmm. Who is this person? Whatever, okay. Um, let's see, programming, hack, and we're going to hack land grab systems. We're gonna see what happens with that. Oh, her coworker's asking her out on a date. And he wants to go to the bar, the caboose, and we're gonna go. That'll be nice. Okay, and when we get back home, we're gonna program for a little bit and read a little bit, and we're gonna see what we get from the next time we go to work. And if we don't get anything, I'll just probably come back with a part two. That way, um, you don't have to watch me go through the whole seven days all at once. 
So, we're here on our date. Is there anything that we have to do? Okay. And we're gonna share our personal life goals. <laughs> what the heck? Romance, affection. Why is everybody coughing? It must be the pollution there. That's what I'm assuming. They're taking pictures of us. Oh my god. Whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> the air is so bad here. People are coughing off rip as soon as they even get here. Oh. Oh. Right, and we're gonna share brilliant ideas. Of course, she sits right us. So we're not gonna stay here long, just like last time. And we're gonna go home and work on our programming skills, and we're gonna go to work tomorrow. Um, and we're gonna congratulate him on the job. We're gonna discuss our food. Boy, boy. Oh, let's do something romantic. Ooh. 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 And let's just do an embrace. Ooh. And we're gonna go with our first kiss. Ooh. Oh, both of them are having their very first kiss. Oh, that's kind of sweet. And he's a celebrity. Okay, so we're going to exit out of this date. So you look like you're having a good time, Nova. This date keeps getting better and better. Okay, so we're gonna end it. <laughs> so even though it's having, they're having a good time, thanks for a great date, talk to you soon. And now our Sim is home and we are going to watch this premiere. What did it say? Peach is a new orange. Not orange is a new black, but they're just calling it peach is a new orange. That's hilarious. Okay, so we're gonna have her watch this thing so we can fulfill that. And we wanna get promoted and we want to mod game and we want to go to work feeling confident. So let's go ahead and give Nova a new bed. So we're just gonna go to our bed and we're gonna give her a nicer bed. So something with six. So we're gonna go with this cozy, cozy, cozy cubby hole. Okay, so we got Nova a new bed. So that's good. Buy a shower with a hygiene rating of seven. Okay, and she wants to mod the, a game. So we'll have her come over here and we will go to career, no, go to programming, and we will click on mod game. And let's do mod incredible sports. So now she's feeling confident, and we'll have her, isn't it usually a brush teeth option? Okay, we'll have her brush her teeth too, before she goes to work. And I think that helps him to feel confident too. Okay, so now she's off to work and let's see what happens when she leaves. And we're just gonna have her, um, it says, what's so funny? Nova notices everyone grinning and laughing, but chat windows disappear when she comes around. She can pretend not to notice or confront her team. Let's ask what's up. So let's pause it for a second. At first, no one answers until the new intern shifts to Nova to see his screen. It's a doctored up photo, all right, but it's the ax wielding mutant isn't Nova, it's her boss, which isn't, which is easy enough to laugh off. Okay, so they weren't talking about her. Better not have been. Okay, so we're gonna work hard and we're just gonna continue to work hard until she gets off. Yes, and we got promoted to development captain. So she would now make an additional $5 for a grand total of $78 per hour. So she's also received the following $874 and an innovators award for excellence in science. Can't get any better than that. And I feel like Lewis is gonna try to call us soon. 
I hope pepperoni is still your favorite. Chips. Did he show up at our house? So this guy just came over to our house and it's he's taking out our, our stuff. Why is he being so nice to us? That is strange. So he just went and took out our trash and he said, I hope the pizza is still your favorite. Um, more choices, friendly, interest, and we're going to discuss latest games. I don't know. Maybe he might not be that bad of a guy after all. Okay, so I think this is a great place to stop because we got a lot done in this gameplay. We actually reached our level six of programming skills. We've got not one, but two promotions. We've gotten money and backing from a company. We got $12,000 from uh, doing hacking and investing in viruses and stuff like that through programming. And we've just gotten a lot of money. And actually now it seems like Lewis is on our side instead of being against us. So in the next gameplay, you will see me play through the rest uh, huh. of this scenario. And you can just leave your thoughts down below. Do you like this scenario or not? Uh. Just go ahead and leave me some comments. Okay, mm. bye.